is down the ramp control. Kawas has not got information yet, but he's about to. A bigger Zera, you have to imagine there's got to be enough of a bait here from the Julies to allow this USP out here towards 51 to not get cleared. Great shot from Prosus as he swings in, draws out first blood. Cowes can respond. Look for Tabster next up and Dome's in for the double. In for the triple perhaps against Mantu. It's a possibility. He's holding back against this incendiary which has missed out from the T side. Sin and Mantu still being spotted. The Julies can't quite connect the headshot. Eventually that triple comes in. But he's run out of ammo almost to fail that kill but does secure it against the man. Krimbo now in a one on four himself and Cowes by dipping for the aces. Back is turned towards that Glock. So there's one trade found but a lot more work to be done. <laughs> what an absolute wild sequence out here towards the A-Rap controller. Great and excellent opener to come through from process to clear out 51, but just the refrag in there from the Julie. Really need to see some return from them. Sin. Of course, engaging with the AK first and foremost. Mansu caught off by NQZ. Elsewhere, Nissim can follow suit. So it is a five versus three here. Payne finding the aggressive fights, but it can't hold on to all of the advantages. Tabston responded to by Big Azera. Four on two scenario still for pain. A really good pressure out there towards the B stairs. I mean, when you look at the AK pinned up against the MP9, you're not expecting that fight to go the way of the CTs. Timing out here towards CT works the way of Krimbo. But when you consider how low NQZ was, that's a lot of HP drop there for Krimbo. Decent dink off against the man. Big Azera. Still around this stairs angle. Process should know it. They saw that the player went down was not the man that got the kills. On the initial contact. Backstabbing from Lux. Not even going to be required. Process caught off on the swing. 11 HP for Krimbo to win this clutch. It seems uh, very impossible for him. Yeah, very much so. He might be offering the save in this kind of call. Pain. Very successful towards ramp for an opening pick. And obviously very successful with the crossfire towards B-Stairs. Big will look at that round and say that's a missed opportunity for their sake, right? You think, obviously, what we've just spoken about there of forcing the double eco with so many players going down to that lighter eco. If that gun round comes through successfully for Big, we could see them catapult themselves into a 3-2 kind of scoreline and just keep the round streak going. With how uh, easily Big can take control of momentum and just send a, a full map towards their favor off the back of a break like that. Yeah. It would have been bad signs for the Brazilians, but the fact that they've got this round together is... Uh, all good in the hood for the CT side. 3-0 start on the contrary. You can grab a couple of AKs to play with. I don't know if there was another one there uh, down at the uh, the B stairs position. Can the lurk towards B stairs unknown. Just going to have that one man to cut the rotations back. Let's see if Kawes can sneak in ahead of this smoke as he revealed. I think Krimbo did see him. Nissim's caught the opening frag on process as one man can walk down towards the bottom of the tarps. Sprays through tabs and is going to get caught. Kawes slowly sneaks in. They have no idea about it. He gets his pick forward. Looks for the next player back over at the alley position. Swings up the sight and captures Sin. And Krimbo is once again left. This time in a one on five clutch. One frag gained. <laughs> Too many mods again. And 20 seconds to do it all in. Uh, this is a brilliant start in for the Brazilians. So you could just feel that in the rifle rounds, they're making some highly impactful info plays. The multis keep coming up. Cowes is adding numbers. To brilliant stuff again from the CT. Oh, sorry, T sides rather. Pain stacked up three individuals to the backline defensive. Cowes might just play blatant switch. Look for information. Ooh, processes bullets. Sailed right past him. He's lucky to be alive there and gets an incendiary back to try and stop the progress of the T side. Still the crossfire held. A fourth player might join the fray from mid. Flash is sent. Smokes will siphon off that low HP player. And Tabson and Sin can take the two main defenders. Easy as pie. Well, that was very unorthodox. Two players on the boosted angle. Both trying to play anti-flash the best that they can. And in the end, just getting overwhelmed. Process with the back and forth trades. This is probably where the CTs look for some exits. But this retake will not be successful. NQZ backing up. Nissim does have now a line into the bomb site itself from Elevator. But you are right. No retakes on this. Far too many players to find, even with Process being as tagged as he is. Orps backing up. AK will stick around in the hopes that someone aggresses too far. But for Big, this is what we were talking about. This is their chance to get a momentum shift in. It's only around for now. And it's finally their start on T side. And I think there's no denying that this has not been an easy tournament run from Big. And I think that probably. Break up of NQZ, AWP fighting on to process, lands that opening engagement very quick to the trigger. 
And no response from Big, not given a second angle to play with. Uh, there's just nothing that they can do against NQZ. Get that AWP out towards 51, get in for an opening pick and just instantly move back over. Has to freeze up for just a second while he waits for the fire to burn out. And Cowes out here towards the sandbags. One of the rarer times we've actually seen this position be held, but he doesn't actually hold the line for long enough. Gets flashed off of the angle and retreats with the man advantage. Backed away on that M4. Awful will start to check alley positions, flashes. Break the T side as much as they do the CT forces. Nice nades on against them. And that cuts both ways. Thank you, Zed. AWP, is he peering back in for another fight? I wonder if he just holds this line or continues to fight. He gets a little bit too far forward. And that flash in from Krimbo means it's a sitter kill for Sin. And trade to an even standing with 40 seconds on the clock. Kau is still holding close. Nades again on Tabson and Krimbo, tagging them down to less than half HP on each. It's in the area, forced that opera out in the open, didn't hit the shot. Big Azira can take him out of the round. Advantage back for Payne as Big have no choice but to try and force the issue. Kawe swings on Sin, reducing it to Tabson and Krimbo. Face forward again, sprays. Very awkward from the forward player with 15 seconds on the clock. He's got a bomb on his back and he's rotating back to the ramp control to hold on to these weapons for the big side. No follow-up on T. Payne will return to seven, take the half. Tries to get that AWP as well. Might even take him after time. No. He'll just fall in general. 7-1 now for the Brazilian squad. And I'm going to remind you back that before we can get the kill shot in, process even with nades back, open up the vision, just barely get the kill. Draw a third player away from the B bomb site. So Nissim stands alone to dish out the damage. Sin will get isolated. Secondary pick, he hesitates for it. And now they should have the B bomb site. Well, very good position there from both Process and the other ramp individual just to be able to drive a little bit of distraction. Him and Tabson to keep the util down, to open up a pick towards Gap, and then Nissim's just alone out there on B. Would love a bait and switch. Would love someone out towards Quad or maybe from White that could swing on the contact. But he's the only player on B. Lux is being hunted here, Process. Oh, he's walked right past him. They have no idea. <laughs> oh, this is Maddox. <laughs> oh, no. There, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Just in the end. Oh, man. Process had an opportunity right there. And how devastating it would have been for Payne as well to lose a, a fourth player when the money, despite having as many... On towards the A entrance, now in QZ. How are you going to nade his way forward? If I didn't see anybody close, Process does reveal himself. NQZ might have information from here. Hearing footsteps of Tabson, but he cancels that incendiary. Swing back, and Sin's going to get caught. NQZ transfers to his teammate, and Tabson is able to trade it back, but to the favor of Payne will go. And with this B attack, still have two players on defense. It seems like easy pickings for Bigger Zero. With Krimbo once again left in what, his fourth clutch of the map so far? He'll try his hand at it. The bomb is well CT control. Kawe is a shadow was seen, but still, Krimbo couldn't get the kill. I don't know what to say other than Payne just stop Into Kao's position, of course, wants to use that smoke. The AK swinging from Process can tap onto his teammate. Sent off site defensive held together. Bigger Zero still able to get one more on Krimbo, but Kao is, is overwhelmed. Lux now back site, unawares of the man breaking his way in from side. And now there's two left from the Payne camp. This should have been the big that we've seen all half long so far. We'll only really get it in round 12, though. Should be their third as Bigger Zero will drop. And this him is under one on four. At least it's a positive note to end out the half here from Big, but this is going to have to be one of the largest comebacks that we have seen from this team the entire competition this far. Nine rounds for Pistol. This time around, he doesn't have the jewelies, but the Glock in hand. Let's see if he can do it again. Process joining one man up at the back site. Taps those USPs, and Isim can evade them as they finally hold fire. Set that bomb plant in, retake, coming up for big. They have a kit in play with utility also on Sin. The smoke and incendiary. Count the Molotov from the T side line as they try and look for an engagement. Tabson can cut down one. A second player of Cowboys will fall. He'll take one back, so it's only a single man advantage. NQZ trying to paint and switch, move left and right. Bob and Weave on the side, but does find himself demised at the hands of Tabson, who makes it a quadra. On the defuse, he'll go. Lux can't hit accurate shots. He finally takes one of the backup dancers. A second man. Stairs entrance. Roll them back, 40 seconds. Fire in front of the stairs, of course, will stop any real aggression from pain for now. They won't really set up in any positions that will uh, aid it. The boost will come through from Bigger Zero as it does uh, burn out. 
Smoke's on site with Sin Sin. I can't quite tell. Certainly not to the hands of Lux. Because Zira will turn back a tray. But Mantu is right in his head. Advantage remains to be extended to a two-man advantage. Cowers doesn't get one pick back. Saw without all pause as well. Has bought enough breathing room for the bomb to get planted here. It's a little bit late to the site, but we'll need to go down. You wonder if Process is going to try and deny over the left side of that Jenny. Mantu with the all position for the bomb plant to move. And tried, but failed. Both players held in very similar positions. They can't afford to line up for the rifles here. Nissim does. Process down, takes him down. Cowers. One versus three. He doesn't even get past the first man. Process can lock it in. And Big can lock in the eighth. This comeback is... Uh, well, it's almost complete. Yeah, very much so. And I, I think if you are pain... Big and perhaps the utility placement might be part of it. Angle for Lux. The nades will open it up. No one's going to be seen from either side. Secondary flashbang forward. Nissim's going to catch that opening kill out towards the B stairs, but Sin is very fast to respond. Lux is alone out here towards ramp. Smoke is going to start to clear. Process out here towards 51 has actually not even seen him just yet. Not quite enough vision onto the metal girders. Lux will start to move in. Process caught switching to his rifle. M4 caught out in the open, but Tabson still wins the engagement. It's a three versus three. And Cowers is prodding forward even more so. The AWP and Mantu backed up at the elevator entrance. Is AWP ready at both the floor and the scaffolding? Cowers, where does he lean into? Seems to continue up the B play. Now, this is all just about timing because now you've got Tabson coming back towards elevators. Oh. It should have been a free kill, but Cowers instead has been able to wrap his way into Sniper's Nest. As the T's rotate away from their B entry positions and start playing towards A. Ramp control at the bottom of ramp position. They still Case have to do with the ult, though. Does catch Tabson. Now Mantu's on his own. Well, it's basically a 1v3 situation. Sin is slowly rotating back. Cowers unawares of exactly where the pole's holding from. Was he spotted on that swing? I can't quite tell from the T-side POV. Mantu didn't see the vision just yet. But finally, they'll sweep forward and they'll get the kill in. Cowers does deal with the orb. Sin, no choice but to save as pain. Start the T-side. I thought Lux may have actually cost them that round. I think about that aggressive duel that he got out there towards the tops. He had an opportunity of freezing up or trying to get in towards Gap rather than continuing the press up towards mini ramp without, of course, any teammates or any utility. But in the end, it's Cowes who catches an unreal timing. And I think we can both look at that scenario. ...towards them and at this point required because their own economy state is on the verge of reset. AWP pick goes the way of NQZ this time around. I think it's been quite back and forth between the two. Mm -hmm. We've seen a few rounds at Mantu's done it, and we've seen a few rounds that's gone the other way. Flash out from P stairs, nearly seen to drop out there in the aggressive sightline. Crimbo did not give up the info that he was there as well. Of course, both players would obviously have retreated to the site. That HE doesn't give anything in terms of info towards the T side line. Does get a tag off on the big side, though. Less than 60 for Nissim. Well, the utility to try and see if they can reclaim that beast stairs position. This team is going to get spotted. Nobody else is, though. The Sin can now re-smoke off that beast stairs and just stall for time. Now, out towards ramp, you've got two individuals. You've got both Process and Tabson with that AWP maining down, but just a lurk smoke actually there from Lux is going to start driving them away for a moment. Time's a ticking. 45 seconds. Pain. Need to look at action. There's three players total on this A site. Two on the site itself. Third man rotating back to Sniper's Nest. The smoke's in the way of the Molotovs. Start to reveal what's happening here for the T side. Flash forward. Big Azira cannot deal with process. We go to an even man standing. Pain still pressured by the timer. There's a mid walk coming in from Cowers. Can he cut rotations? Can he set up a backstab? He hears Sin spots him as well. There's a little bit of envision for the information. Nissin playing inside the smoke. Tabson caught. Second man. That AK not even necessary. Nissin's mowed down two more. And Sin locked out of the sight. Cannot deny the plant from his position. Not without his equipment here. All he can do is stay alive as pain will get to 11. A fantastic mid-walk yet to getting the map. Sprays through from Sin, combining with Crimbo, however, here on round 21. Wants to give Big a bit of life. So does Process over on the A site. Uh, that ramp control sprays down another. A five on three found by Big. A very good start. Only 14 seconds is what took Big to get a two-man advantage.
A race smoke down towards ramp, but there's a player of Nissan that's gotten on the other side of that smoke. Didn't quite adjust towards process. Process couldn't follow up with the kill. Molly's a little bit short, not like it matters. He's still forced out in the open. Nissim can capitalize. Tabson doesn't even want to be in a position in which he reflects. Waits for Mantu to reposition with the AWP out from elevators. Oh, shot missing. HGs will get sent to headshot. How is going to catch Tabson before that anyway? A three on three. Payne are making this round doable. Flash in, shot missed out. Mantu goes right into that Molotov and takes some respectable damage. And QZ now waiting for the sniper's nest peak, which might be coming in a lot sooner than you might think. Watching out the elevator position. Actually, Mantu, backside. No one's been seen. There's even a bit of a reposition here from Crimbo because it's gotten so silent. They actually could have just left ramp. They could have started showing some presence out towards the B stairs. This is a very strong freeze right now for Pain. The question is for Nissim, can he still strike and gap even on low HP? Sin gets Nissim. Spray it back on Kawas knowing he's somewhere on that bomb site. AWP and Mansu sees one, flick shot, doesn't quite connect it. M4 tap burst, finally Cowers can come up with a kill, but drops the bomb on his way out of the round on Crimbo's part. NQZ is all that remains, a one on two. Needs that plant to secure the time, they know it. They could have him. To walk into Gap, is it a trap? Is it maybe a setup in which they've got someone on an off angle? Out towards Crane, he spots one, he didn't see the second player. Mansu's gonna get her attacking back in for mid. Cowers can once again go for the mid walk. Counter flash ahead of the smoke of the CT side posted. Crimbo walks down the scaff, but still ends up getting the kill. Cowes to fall. Pain. Now going to start to get surrounded by the CT side. You've got Mantu's orb starting to peek forward, seeing where Lux is to be on that smoke. It's now three players on the T side. Bomb. You need to commit a flashbang actually from the man. Allows Bigger Zero to come up with a kill on Mantu. And now they've got Nissim trying to do a Cowers walk up from mid. Bigger Zero might be able to deal with Process, and indeed he does. Sin's head was also seen at the backside. Nissim closing in the pincers. This is the game winning play as Tabson drops. And Sin has got to do something unholy to win this one on three clutch. He gets the bomb carrier. Looks for Nissim in the back lines. The AK is ready for the smoke. He's caught with his knife out. Surely not, son. There's no time. There's no time. Sin was looking like a blowout. An unlikely one for the Brazilian squad has turned into a nail biter. It's big. The wolves at the gate. Clamoring to get inside the castle of pain. Deliver some pain to the T side line. They have got a slightly weakened by the SMG on Mantu. I can't afford that AWP anymore. Drawing in utility process. Need to put that smoke or incendiary. I'm not sure which one he has in his hand. Either way, the moment he sees contact, puts it out and denies any further progression from pain. Tap burst, puts some fire, swing for the kill. Lux wins it, and that might send him into the A site. That's a very good entry. Now, Big have got Mansu up aggressively towards Crane. He swung out wide towards Mini Ramp, seeing nothing. The AK from Lux swings without a teammate and without utility and cost him the life. Cost an amount of vantage, but the fast rotates are inbound now from the T side. It's Sin again, M4, backline. See the spray, but doesn't connect it on Nissim. You've got Crimbo, fast rotations inbound for him. Flashes and smokes, the suppressed vision keeping blind. A Molotov to force him out of the sight. And the far long ranges from Tabson can find Nissim in the end. The bomb is down again. 3v3 retake, no kits. And they've still got a molly for NQZ, so it's going to actually be used in a very late round situation to put it onto the bomb late on the clock. Bigger Zera not revealed, despite him being so close. The shadow there was seen by Crimbo. Look at Cowers pressing forward, a headshot seen with the AK right here, playing behind the smoke. He got tagged. Crimbo hard it. They're going to hunt him. All oh, the information game is everything, and it's NQZ. He's all now behind White, waiting on three others. He gets caught off by Man to swing back. Have they got a kit? Have they got this? No. Oh no, they don't! Big! They worked so hard at the end, but it was not... ...tagged out here towards A, and then NQZ can peek late from Platt. Good shot from Krimbo. His P250 
Involved with the first kill, NQZ now backed up and facing in at point blank against that P250. The USB can still win the fight, bring it into a four on four. Meanwhile, Mansu with his walk up, Lux is ready for it until he turns away. And the kill goes the way of Big. One player also caught off of the firing squad, swinging back in towards the canals. Sin's already on the B bomb site. Kawes can't do much except just accept his demise. Big Azira now next up to task, back up is rotating in with that diffuse kit. Of course, already committed into the site itself. Trying to tap, trying to catch these individuals, but no heads are going the way of pain. Now, Big Uzera is getting quite a bit of info on the side, but they need kills. They need picks off of the back of this, and no one's really over-facing from Big. And QZ prodding Big Uzera, check him. Nothing being given up to the pain size. Mantu can strike back. They're all onto one of the CT forces, unknown to the T side players as well. Raced in, kill found against Mantu. Process with a return. And big T seconds again, big, and the run this time are pretty low. The bomb's now been seen. Rotations should come out now for the CT forces. They're going to get at least kills here. Big as zero with one, only one. Him and Nissim overwhelmed. The bomb should go down. <laughs> the only thing on my mind was, is the bomb going to go down? <laughs> I think we've seen a few times there from Big on Anubis on the T side of those low crunches, those slow round, late round decisions to come in from camera and A. And sometimes all it takes is just one good trade, one good bomb denial to be able to make things a little bit wacky. But in the end there, you look at the trading for Big and it was fairly smooth. Only one kill comes through Big Azira. Nissim gets nothing. Makes it a pretty clean third for Big. Timer has uh, come back to bite them over the course of this series as well. Obviously, that last round of Vertigo and how it took them too long to get the retake in. Very characteristic for big style. Slow. So far, it has a... Uh, making the pain in the CT5. Yes, NQZ can find one individual, but Sin is very fast to respond to it in the mid-control. Again, big will maintain their presence. I think another thing to, to counteract is Vertigo on the city side. We saw Pain being very proactive, constantly fighting for space and map control. It's a lot more difficult to do that on Anubis. Anubis on the city side is a lot slower. You maybe have a prod in towards B main or out there to mid or into sort of the, the A main position itself. But you are constantly going to be more so on the back foot. And I wonder how Pain are going to be able to disrupt that kind of playstyle difference. Nissim close behind the smoke towards A main. Big Uzera with the M4 as well. Grimmer about to pop open the... Actually, goes a little bit deeper in the smoke, so it will clear up on its own. CTs will prod forward. Nissim going to get caught by Krimbo's position. Big Azira able to get... Well, technically two kills with Mantu's TK on Krimbo, making it a two versus two situation. Sin's going to get caught off in this corner. Kawes able to respond, but they're unaware of Lux. Sin's just seen him. Engages the first. Mantu's low HP. Pain could be on for the steal. The AK going to try to bait him around the corner. And he on a walk contact out here from Electric from the T side perspective. It seems like they're going to have another go at that double pump of the A split. You still have Nissim very close behind. Swings forward on process. Big as Eric can catch tabs and double okay. up against Sin. Locking them down, it feels like here. Big picked apart by the individual fights. Mantu and Krim are now being flanked by Lux. Again down here at Canals. Again pushing onto them. Same couple of kills to gain. Krimbo can return fire with one pick. And whilst this is a trade back for Big, it's not really much in terms of the round itself. They could even line up for Kawes. Does take one with him. Mantu continuing to trade to keep his AK alive in this round for the save call in the round itself. Definitely not going to be a fourth for Big as a second for Pain. I think it's funny when it's IV2. I think most of the time, Jay, we're just thinking, right, you give that respect forward to your position, you play deep in the bombs. Always out on B. You wonder how he's going to strike. Maybe he plays close towards the pillar like we saw previously on that defensive. So with Grest over at main, flash into now the M4 to peek ahead of the B control. Sin can catch off both, and indeed that's what he does. Headshots on either man. Big Azera suddenly feeling very alone. Now he might have to just get another flash in here towards main just to try and rectify some of the trades. And put a smoke down over at the electric control. Process will not be allowed vision or access. And they'll probably just gamble stack from this point onwards. Unfortunately, yeah. they've just lost so much from that early encounter. Yeah, I'm lucky for Lux and Cowers there. Effective spray from Sin. Again, two kills. And basically closed down on itself. They are leaning into the B site, actually. This might get a bit more dicey than one might expect. 
If they do go in, you wonder how quickly the cancel can be made, or if it can at all, because if that bomb goes in first, it actually could get dropped in an awkward position where they just have to keep fighting for the split. Smoke on one, Nissin backed up, AWP of NQZ watching, shot on the shoulder mate, missed out, process, second one doesn't connect, Sin can take the frag, bomb down, Crimbo overwhelms the bat line, and you got bigger Zera, all the way back at Temple now just to fall away and save the M4. NQZ unfortunately needed a multi, or really any of those players on the B site needed a multi, but you'd hope that it was the guy that was going to take first contact. Now that's probably one of the sweetest rounds yet from Big. And think about the idea that you've just used double tacks back to back. You've gone into the next round and you've literally just swept them. Hasn't even been a competitive one. Advantage now Big. Lead gain by the T side. All five alive as well in this round. And with the bomb tailing in towards men, it's looking like another split play. Lux is going to get forced away. There is a re-smoke that can go down, but look at that just walking into the bomb site. Tab Sin catching a kill back onto Lux. Kawe is able to trade. Sin responds all the same. Interestingly, that was Tabson's first kill in this game, which I think is very impressive for Big. The fact that he's typically one of the guys that you see as a star. And they managed to win the half without much impact from him. Mantu leads the charge and being half four alive. I think it just shows the B players are having a tough time. <laughs> They're not having an easy time out there. Just a walk. I mean, the idea that they smoke main and big just walk on the left-hand side of that smoke into jail and just, just pop. It just... They're straight away. Both of those B-site anchors need to go one for one each. That's the only way that a retake is going to be possible. Seven to four. Could even be eight to four. I think Big have put in a very good scoreline shift when it when it looked like it was actually going to be quite... Faced around the corner. Tapson's taking a lot of damage to the forward man of that mid face. Three players overall. Man two. Gap just being spotted. And Big Azera taken out. Ah, look at this backstab from Cowers though. He's been able to get in behind at mid. Lux, that HG, pretty nicely placed, but still not enough to get the kill on Tabson. Cowers, one, two, and not three. Man, two, just turns back to a three on three, just about. A very good effort. Quite a bit of distraction from the util of Lux to at least draw the attention ahead. They know that Man, two's out there to mid, and with the bomb, they have not been able to trap him. And for big, this is where they could just go back to that B-split that's been all so successful for him. Regroup and regress. Only one man to deal with. NQZ can't watch every single position. Back will be turned towards main. Smokes are coming in towards that temple position. So also seeing Lux with no vision of his own. Right process, however, is taken out of the fold. Lux back sight. That's made his way ahead of that smoke. Jump face. AWP could get caught off. Mantu. NQZ responds. That's a 3k from the Orpa of the T-side, two of which bailed them out of bad positions. And now Crimbo all alone back and we turn towards Nissim. He's seen him and the spray is not quite there. So as much as the Orpa was able to bail out big, it's still not enough to win the map, uh, the round up right. Fifth on the ball for Payne. Still 7-5 at the turn of the half. A decent effort there from Mantu. That's some very quick trade. Handed towards that B site. One man over in mid can support the A site defensive. They've got a hyper passive though. Molotov to send Krimbo well out of the way. Burning the 40 HP. Tabson has drawn out first blood. Second kill goes his way. Despite taking a goose to nine points of health. Nissim now forced to extend. Forcing Krimbo off angle. He'll reface. He'll get a headshot. NQZ gets overwhelmed the same. Big as zero one on five. He's not lasting long. It's all five life for big. As they take the pistol. And you've got a feel there for pain, because when you look at the util and when you look at that initial contact, they've actually done a lot right. They've been able to drive Crimbo away. Quite there, the AK actually wins the AWP fight. 20 kills for Mantu, so I'm going to surprise them. These men will fall apart so easily towards the rifle. Process looking pretty good against Lux, made that kill look so easy. Big Azira now. Making no noise against Tabson's position. The M4 of Crimbo has heard the tag. Or given the tag information away to that shotgun still. Big Azira can win that fight. Now they make their way into the A site. Crimbo caught by his own flashbang. Expecting a war on two fronts. And that's exactly what he'll get. Forced out by the Molotov. The bomb actually not quite yet on the bomb site. I don't think anyone's in a position to punish it. That player from mid too focused on rotating to the site itself. Maybe a kill could present itself. No, not quite yet. NQZ finds Crimbo Sin. Can turn back around against Big Azera. NQZ gets caught to a two versus two. And Payne have vacated to go back to that B-bomb site. Now, Sin's got a molly. So as soon as he rotates out here towards Cave, he might try and get that down to the bomb site. Bomb tapped once. Still Sin's closing in so slowly. Nissim, perfect shot again. Process. 
Two kills already in this round. Two more to win the clutch. Aware of Nissim. Unaware of Kawes. That corners. Check position. Bomb. Opened up for both sides. Can he tap it without vision? He's going to go for the swing anyway. And Nissim can win the 2k. And win the T-side. Swing into the flashbang. Sin checks for Cowes. Gets him. Big as zero with a responsive against Process, though. Nays to his position will weaken him a little bit, but Sin is still hunting for the kill. Meanwhile, on the site, Krimbo could get caught off here. They bring extra support to try and look for this one man. They might lose the B site for it. It's big as zero continues fighting, continues fragging. Sin forced to make a play with the USP. A three on three. Now make it two as NQZ takes Tapson out of the rotate. And they know that Sin's got to be fairly low. They know that he's got to be tagged up outside here, Remain. NQZ with a very important kill out there toward Canals. Flash in. Nissim caught blinded, but this Sin could be back with it. Yeah. Mantu, his AWP was rotating back up towards to support with a crossfire, support with some Overwatch. And big. Had no choice in the matter. Pain overwhelming again. Big. Equal on the board. Their lead dissipated. Their advantage vanishing before their eyes. And pain with a chance now. This... This could have been the round where they could have readjusted and had some discussions and tactics to call. Something fresh now in this game. I don't know how fresh you can get for big. Where is the impact? Where can they finally crack open a CT round again? Tapson out here towards mid is seeing nothing. Not even counter utility is going his way. And Lux gets a molly out there to electric. Hain. Look like they do want to start regrouping to at least offer up some mid control. Nissim is waiting for any kind of peer aggressively towards A main, but seeing nothing right now. It's the utility. Out towards mid, Tabson forced back, bigger zero now. Leaning in, flashes from Tabson, check position. Get yeah, back out towards camera with support of Mantu on the site. It could be another one of these A splits. I mean, three in mid and one outside of A. You could have NQZ to at least throw some more utility in towards B main and out to the B site just to draw some attention. They're going heavy handed on the uh, A defender as well for the big side, but that might not be the call pain. What a regroup this could be from Bigger Zero. Nissim baiting out Mansu and now just dives away. Does that send the rotate back into the B side for Big? Not yet, it seems. Might wait for the execution. It might all rest on process again. He's got no nades. He's got nothing that can slow this round down. At least his Sin's got a flash that it can peek ahead. Process can peek with it. What's he going to get out of it though? Nothing. Nades to crack open a smoke. Sprays desperate to find a trade, desperate to find a kill. And nothing goes the way of big. Two players on the way, looking for a retake, it seems. What a call. Big Uzera going into pretty much the open B bomb site, and now they just have to close. Close down the post blood, but Big might just say, you can close with these, as they're opting for yet another save, not even attempting the retake. Slowly but surely, this is falling apart for Big. The map pick of pain. Up by one, stealing away that Vertigo. The infallible top seed. The only tier one squad we have in the finals. And they are unable to close out against Pain. It seems like Mantu and Krimbo at least get a couple of... In the mid and late round. Now think about that last round as a prime example. There's a trap being set up with three CTs towards a... Mantu with the AWP up against the Jiggle Baited. Now they know where the AWP is. Another missed shot from Mantu. Been stuck on 20, 21 kills for a fair while now. Those miss is important. Oh, Krimbo. His back was turned. I thought for a second they were going to strike against him. Backed up to the back site. Was he seen the cross of the smoke? No, he wasn't. NQZ, Sin, Bigger Zero, going back and forth towards the mid play. It's going to be an A split with only this SMG caught in the back site. Mansu in process. Surely Mansu has to save. Process might try to go hero. He gets that first, but no more. That's a very good effort there from process because he nearly comes away with two kills. But this round streak, this second half, what's happening to Big right now? I just, I don't understand 
how an Anubis map that's been so successful for them. I mean, 13-3 against Sinners, 13-11 up against ITB. Last chance saloon for Big. Need three in a row for overtime. Mantu loses the AWP fight. Because right now he can't win a thing. Big Uzera. This could be his chance to open up. But look at how disciplined Pain are. Even with the opening man advantage, they're not exploding into taking space. They're not trying to offer up A main, offer up anything towards mid. Slow it down. Work the passiveness. They have been so rock solid on these T-side defaults. And for Big, this is where you start either making two things. A gamble stack or an aggressive info play. Because you're getting desperate. Tabson. Slow walking back to camera. Big as era. Leaning in. Tampson will re-aggress. Still only eight kills deep in its map up. Nade sent towards the first. Smoke down to suppress Molotovs. Coming towards the back of the mid control. It does force three players to crawl back away from the mid position. And try and link up for the B here. Once again, it's only process. And it's just pack heavy Counter-Strike from Pain in the mid to late rounds. Look at this. Four players all coming together to go outside of B. And process this is the only one. We're still waiting for the rotation. I set. Land at least a frag. One pick. Set up your team with something respectable. And Lux will go down. Second adjustment's there. Sin taken back by Cowers in the backside. The rotators have been cut off. But NQZ falls to the man advantage of big. Process knows they're coming in close. He can't hit that next shot as Cowers flanks him. That bomb all alone, though. The lurking from Nissin back towards Canals. Coming back at Electric will finally join as part of the post plant 2v2. Slow walk-ups from Tabson in the back. Crimbo's orb just being seen to the shoulder bay. Tabson revealed. Finds the first adjustment. Needs to land a single tag on the Cowards, but no. He keeps himself tucked away. Tabson, that nade. Gets him. The swing of the AK, though. Gets the headshot.